The art of swing bowling is to combine the ball conditions with the non-controllable factors like the weather and the pitch conditions with controllable factors like the wrist release, line and length and the speed that you bowl. The ball swings because there is more airflow around one side of the ball more than the other side. It causes a lower pressure and the ball will move to the side with the lower pressure. The new ball has two shiny surfaces divided by a high seam. The seam is the critical factor as it responds to the weather conditions of the day, like humidity and temperature. The seam acts as a rudder as it splits the air to either side of the ball. That's right, little bee. We need an uneven split. Angling the seam to the direction you want the ball to move, which is vital and determines the quantity of the air that moves to either side of the ball. The side with the most air running around it will have a lower pressure, causing the ball to move in that direction. OK, now the leather texture comes into play. Polish one side to make it as shiny as possible. Leave the other side alone to help it rough up. You need to create two different sides. The rough side is the key as the air prefers it. The leather on the rough side gets dimpled and cut, air fills in the gaps and the ball is pulled towards the rough side, making it the low pressure side. The ball will naturally swing in the direction of the rough side. For the outswinger, the shiny side is on the leg side. For the inswinger, the shiny side is on the off side. For reverse swing, the shiny side is no longer as smooth as it was and the rough side is now getting too rough. The air begins to prefer the shiny side which now has little dimples and cuts on it. Without altering the position of the seam, the ball begins to swing in the opposite direction. So the reason the ball swings is still the same. Different air pressures on the ball. The ball moves to the lower pressure zone. Yes, that's right, little bee. The more effective reverse swing will be obtained as the higher bowling speeds and the masters of this were Pakistan's great quicks, Wazim Akram and Wakar Yunus. Late old ball swing at 95 miles an hour will give you plenty of bowls and LBs. Remember, it's the leather deterioration, not the weight from moisture that dictates whether the ball will swing reverse. Keep the ball dry and shine up one side as much as possible. Bang! You'll get some Waka Yunus reverse swing. The perfect ball for swing is one with one side smooth and the other side rough. Get your wrist and fingers behind the ball, impart good backspin to give the ball stability and flight. Your aim is for an angled seam. The ball swings in the same direction that the seam is pointing. Shine the ball up, get the batsman driving and aim for late swing.